How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving our gameplay commentary, and EA done messed up <laughs> pretty bad here. Uh, EA left a comment responding to a uh, player's feedback on the subreddit of Star Wars Battlefront, and it ended up being the most downvoted comment all time on Reddit. Right now, it's currently sitting at over 600,000 dislikes. That is absolutely <laughs> absurd. And the uh, thing is, like, no matter what EA was going to do in the situation, it was going to get down. But so in case you guys are, don't know the situation right now. So basically on the subreddit on Star Wars Battlefront, uh, a player, you know, just posted a thing saying, Hey, I spent a sp I spent $80 on the special edition of your game and I can't play as, you know, effing start, start Darth Vader. And like, what kind of BS is this? Microtransactions have gone too far. And EA, sponsored Reddit user, whatever you want to call it, actually replied to this comment saying, uh, the intent is to provide players with a sense of pride and accomplishment for unlocking different heroes. And this is, like, just hearing that alone just really grinds my gears because they locked away one of the main characters that you'd want to play as behind either a paywall or ridiculous credit grind. Apparently he cost, what, like 70,000 credits, which would, I heard that the math has been worked out, which would spend about 40 hours of gameplay grinding out those credits that unlock Darth Vader, which is rather absurd. That's a long time of game time, 40 hours. And then, <laughs> on top of that, like, on top of that, you can actually just buy the credits themselves, which is just like, absurd. So then, like, it really, like forcing pe people, basically almost forcing people down this path of, you know, paying to unlock Darth Vader, which is, I think, absurd in the game, especially with a game you rate paid. This guy, for example, paid $80 to play the game, and he still can't play the full version for whatever reason. Now, I understand unlocking characters and things like that, but this is just outrageous. Um, you know, and then the EA comment continues on saying that we've, you know, come up with these prices uh, using our data from the open beta and... Uh, other things that you know basically trying to justify why they have such an absurd cost to their uh, heroes and right at the end is what really kind of triggered me more saying that we appreciate the candid feedback and the passion the community has put forth around current topics here on reddit our forums and across numerous social media outlets that is just like the most it's like condescending but like it just feels like you're just like skirting around the main tone and feel and what this person's really upset about is that you know they paid extra money to play your game and they they're just getting completely screwed over and just not acknowledging that whatsoever say not even saying sorry you feel that way like it's not even being that's not even an apology it's just like hey we understand where you're coming from it just completely you know does not pay attention to that whatsoever and so being in the internet, we uh, do not like this kind of stuff, especially coming from EA. Now it's sitting at 600,000 dislikes. The mod for the uh, um, uh, the moderator for the Battlefront subreddit has actually locked the thread so you can't uh, access it anymore. And just because, you know, they obviously don't want to bring all this negativity to their thread. They want to try to keep things more positive and more fun because that's the idea of video games, right? To have fun. Um, but just like. It's just ridiculous. But EA, later on that day, came out with an official statement here. Let me just look it up here, saying um, instantly today they've come back, okay, we understand why you guys are mad. It makes sense. And so what they're actually going to be doing now is reducing the costs of all heroes by 75%. So it's not such an absurd grind. I can understand unlocking characters like Darth Vader, but when it takes 40 plus hours to do it, while you're unlocking nothing else, that's just not fair. And they're forcing you down this path to spend money in the game. On top of your, this guy's example, $80. That's just not right. <laughs> but so they're lowering the price. Of, like, Luke, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader will now be 15,000 credits instead of, I think it was 75 he said earlier. Uh, Emperor Palpatine, Chewbacca, and Leia will be 10,000. And Eden, Iden, is how you pronounce the name, will be 5,000 credits. So they can have a bit of a tier right there. And so the rest, and then they continue on saying that uh, you know this is like you know a work in progress kind of thing. You know we'll continually you know stay active. We'll continually update the game. You know make sure you guys are liking it. Sorry for the awkward cut here. I wanted to add in one more thing, and that was 
uh, the fact that uh, DICE developers for Star Wars Battlefront 2 are going to be holding a Reddit AMA, so you get a chance to you know, vent your frustrations on these guys, at least get a point of view of why they're doing these things, or just kind of clear the air out, uh, at least they're trying to do that, right, and just hide behind, you know, their facade of EA, or their big publisher, M343, <laughs> but, um, so, what they said here in the, uh, update on the Battlefront 2 page, saying that, in fact, this Wednesday, we'd like to, for you to join us for a Reddit AMA with some of the key leads on our team. Stay tuned to our social media channels for more information on the AMA and our blog for continual updates on what we're seeing, hearing, and adjusting the game. So, you got that to look forward to if you want to try and do that. But this is blowing up huge. Uh, from what I've seen from other commentators who are actually in talks with developers, uh, are involved with this like they are paying attention to this because this is kind of like you know we knew that this pinnacle was happening here of um you know the degrading of gameplay and the amount of hatred the from the hatred feedback from players and i think right here we're hitting one of those breaking points because right now we've been kind of just building our way up to that because right now with the upgrades in Star Wars Battlefront are just straight upgrades. There's no downsides to them. So basically, if you're a player who puts more time into the game, you will have a clear, clear, distinct advantage over people who maybe just start or don't play as much as you, which is completely unfair. Like stuff like having like 100% more shields. That's ridiculous. But they put that in the game. They incentivize people to buy these loot boxes. And I understand trying to get an extra source of revenue into your games because, you know, let's be real, inflation, it's a real thing. And, you know, these games have been priced at $60 for so long that they've that price does not meet what the... When the games were originally priced at $60, that would be actually like $75, $80 nowadays. And we're still paying 60s. That's why I totally understand adding in this extra source of revenue to your games because, well, you know, games cost a lot more than they did to make nowadays. And now that the inflation has gone up, that the value is that we're actually basically stealing from these guys when you're buying a $60 game. But now it's going to get to the point now if, if developers are going to continually push the envelope like this when it comes to microtransactions, I might as well, I'd rather just pay $75, $80, $90. Hell. Even $100 if I knew I did not have to deal with microtransactions and I could just play the game without having to worry about these sleazy, cheesy ways to sneak in a little extra cash from the player base. And it's just really sad it has to come to this. But, you know, it was eventually going to happen. This is going to be one of those really important breaking points when it comes to microtransactions within pre-bought games. I mean... I, my preference would be is why not just make this all all the additions additional stuff cosmetics and so all your microtransaction loot boxes are just cosmetics and so then it would incentivize people who are hardcore players who like to play the game more and more and actually start caring about what the characters look like then it would make sense to add that like every free to play game I've ever played or ever seen the way they do it is that they don't lock away core aspects of the game to microtransactions. They let the players play that, and then microtransact. And if you want to pay money, that's something that up to you because you want to either save time, or that's just you want your character to look awesome. It's up to choice, really. Uh, and there's, I don't mind microtransactions in these games as long as there's a way to unlock what you want with the credits that you earn in game. Halo Five was really close to doing this. Right, but they did lack, They just left out the option of being able to unlock what you want with the loot boxes. You know, I've put almost about 10 days worth of gameplay into Halo 5. Still don't have the Halo 2 BR. That was on, that became available like the second or third month the game was out. And this is two years later. So it's like this kind of stuff that really kind of grinds my gears. And, you know, it's like... I don't understand why, like, every free-to-play game ever, like, they give you the option to buy exactly what you want. That's what you need to give players the option to do when it comes to these microtransactions. You know, if you want to make it completely random, make it only cosmetics. Don't make it things like, you know, 100% more shields, you turn faster, you play better. This is straight-up pay-to-win options that are in Battlefront 2 right now, and it's sad that it had to come to this, but... Like I said earlier, it's one of those breaking points that's very important and the community needs to stand up and be like, no, this is just wrong. And I think we're doing that right now. Game developers are paying attention to this and I think that uh, they're going to figure out, okay, we, can, we pushed a little too hard on this one. We need to tone it back a little bit. 
and hopefully uh, other companies notice this as well and we can move forward with trying to find the best medium of maintaining the $60 price tag, having microtransactions, and not completely degrading the gameplay of what you have what you have to offer. So let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what you would like to see for your microtransactions in a game, or you know, because we either we raise the price to like 100 bucks for a game, or we have mi different kind of microtransactions than we do right now in games. So let, leave a comment down below what your guys' um, resolution would be to this whole situation. And if you want to see more content like this, you know, more Halo 5, more Destiny 2, maybe a little bit of Call of Duty. Um, you know, make sure you tap the subscribe button. Let me know you want to see more content like this. And uh, share and like with the guys if you agree with these thoughts as well. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.